Hello, I'm Tom Keating, and I'm director of the Centre for Financial Crime and Security Studies at RUSI. We've just celebrated our sixth anniversary, and our work at the intersection of finance and security has never been more important. We've got an exciting research agenda ahead for 2021, and I'm certain that once again, we will do our part in supporting policy development, effective implementation, and capacity building to tackle financial crime. A key component of our work is engaging with the global policy community via the Financial Action Task Force and its regional bodies, as well as a range of forums at the United Nations, and of course, engaging with stakeholders in Brussels. Closer to home, we'll keep a close eye on the UK as it takes on the G7 presidency this coming year. With strong words on illicit finance emanating from the incoming Biden administration, we will be hoping to see the return of transatlantic coordination and UK leadership from Boris Johnson in the fight against illicit finance. There's lots ahead for us in 2021. You'll hear more about our plans from other team members in the selection of videos they have each recorded. And to stay right up to date with what we're doing, do sign up to our newsletter at rusi.org forward slash CFCS and follow us on Twitter at CFCS underscore Rusi. Hi there, my name is Isabella Chase and I'm a research fellow here at the CFCS, where my work concentrates on government policy responses to financial crime. In 2021, I'm really excited to share with you the results of a project that we've been working on for the past year, which looks at the impact of financial crime controls on digital financial inclusion. Our report will be ready to be launched in late spring, early summer. But before that, we can't wait to share with you our survey on digital identity, which will seek to assess what role this technology could play in the fight against financial crime. We're really looking forward to getting your views on this important technology. Hello, I'm Emil Dow, a senior research fellow in CFCS. In 2020, we saw the rollout of the UK's new independent sanctions regime. And in 2021, we will continue to comment and monitor on the UK's sanctions priorities. Alongside the UK, 2021 will also be a busy year in sanctions for the EU and for the US where President Biden will take office. On proliferation financing, we will publish new guidance papers related to the DNFPP sectors like lawyers and accountants, as well as for banks. We will also continue to engage on the topic of proliferation financing risk assessments. Hi, I'm Kayla Eisenman and I'm a research analyst at CFCS. My work primarily focuses on the intersection between financial crime and technology, including cryptocurrency. I'm so excited to share that this coming year, we will not only continue our work on sanctions evasion and cryptocurrency, but also expand the project further, looking at typologies of various sanctioned countries, as well as their interests in central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs. We'll also be continuing our Financial Crime 2.0 program in 2021, to identify the role of artificial intelligence and deep fakes in financial crime, a trend we've seen increasing throughout this year. I look forward to sharing our work with you next year, and as always, we rely on your input, so please feel free to reach out. Hi everyone, I'm Anton Moisenko, Research Fellow at CFCS. In the year to come, we will forge ahead with our work in free trade zones. In 2020, we published a report exploring criminal risks in free trade zones around the world. Building on that, we will develop a manual that will enable private sector companies to better assess their risk exposure as a result of doing business in a free trade zone. We will also do a deep dive into another issue of particular interest to the private sector, namely the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning for financial crime prevention and detection. If any of this tickles your curiosity, please don't hesitate to get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Hi, my name is Steven Reimer and I'm the CTF Research Analyst at the CFCS. With 2020 being my first full year at the center, I was thrown straight into its important work and I published articles on terrorism financing and illicit trade and on reforming the exemptions process for UN terrorism sanctions. I also had the opportunity to moderate and participate in the first five of our CTF online symposia, a webinar series on terrorism finance that we put together as part of our European Commission-funded community-building initiative called Project Craft. 
In 2021, as part of CRAFT, I'm excited to share with you the final report of our year-long research project on lone actor and small cell terrorism financing in Europe, and to get started on a new piece of research on TF and new technologies. I'm looking forward to engaging with you all and to seeing what 2021 has in store for our fight against financing hateful and deadly terrorist activity worldwide. Hello, my name is Helena Wood and I'm an Associate Fellow at CFCS. I run the Centre's programme tracking and supporting implementation of the UK Government's Economic Crime Plan. So what can you expect from us in 2021? Well, we'll be continuing our work on UK corporate transparency reform, including tracking the much needed reform to the UK Companies House, the UK Company Registrar. We'll be looking at the UK's anti-money laundering supervision landscape, including looking at how international experience can inform the UK's future response. And finally, we'll be looking at how reforms domestically in the UK can have a global impact. If you want to know more about our programme, and in particular how the UK is progressing against its plan to reform the UK's economic crime landscape, please see rusi.org forward slash ECP. Hi, I'm Alana Putza, Program Manager at CFCS. Basically, I keep a lot of things moving behind the scenes. I'm thrilled that we're kicking off 2021 with Season 3 of our podcast, The Suspicious Transaction Report. The theme is policy into practice, and you hear from many fascinating people who turn policy into reality around the world. We'll also continue to bring you top thinkers through our events series and corresponding podcast, Financial Crime Insights. If you haven't tuned in, don't miss out. I promise you'll learn something new with each episode. We have a packed research agenda, and I'm especially excited for a new project that aims to tackle kleptocracy in its first mile through the involvement of civil society in East Africa and South America. Thanks so much for your interest in our work. Don't forget to sign up to our newsletter at rusi.org forward slash CFCS and follow us on Twitter at CFCS underscore Rusi. We look forward to involving you in the year ahead and to doing our part in tackling global illicit finance.